like why they, is no, it I, I have no data that to say if they're more likely or less likely. The question is if there's a chance, which we have plenty of evidence, like tons of stories, and whether or not it's 1%, 2%, I don't know, is do we have as a society, right, an obligation to create a boundary or a barrier to say that women, right, should be a type of class, if you will, which was the argument of the feminists, that should be protected from the exploitation of men. And I say yes. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back going to new video. Today, we're going to check out Charlie Kofinish's radical pro-trans students activist. Okay, I call him Charlie Kick because of kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. Because I, I feel like there's not a lot that I'm, I could say that you haven't heard. In one yeah, I mean, which is why I'm, I'm sure. my main thinking on on this topic is that for a lot of people, for trans people, I don't know if you're for, for a lot of trans people, like it's a matter of life and death to express themselves the way they want to and embrace the identity they want to and to use the pronouns that they care about. And what is it to you to not respect? Yeah, like, so. Why? There's two separate issues. We could go on endlessly and it probably wouldn't get anywhere where I would be like my own personal opinions on that. But the more important question is how does society react to it, right? That's the more important question. So I'm not going to convince trans people they're not what they say they are. Like that's a waste of time. The question is should we change bathrooms, like college sports? You know, that's the more important question, right? Should we teach this stuff in schools? And I would say, I mean, the, mo the moral question from my perspective is that I believe people first and foremost born as biological men, right, um, should not be allowed to exploit or damage or harm people that do not have the same testosterone, bone density, or muscle mass. Let's just take like athletics, right? So NCAA women swimmer, champion, Thomas was a man, transitioned to a woman, wins the NCAA championship, right? So that's a moral question where I say, okay, you can think whatever you want, but you should have to compete your own biological, your chromosome should dictate what athletic competition you're in, right? So you say it's a matter of life and death. I think therapy, whatever, but your therapy shouldn't be disenfranchising other female athletes. Does that make sense? Yeah, but that's specific to athletics. That's, that's just one example one, of a ton, right? Like that's specific to athletics, but like what? Or, or like bathrooms, right? So like, I don't think men and women should share bathrooms. I don't. You don't think, I mean, gender neutral bathrooms are all weird. Yeah, and I'm totally against that, right? So just so you know, like, I think it's re weird and creepy, so. What is, what's weird? It's women weird. can get raped, they have gotten raped, they can get sodomized. Um, Loudoun County schools had multiple incidents of men who thought they were women and raped young children, all sorts of stuff, right? So, but then also just from a more, just like, civilizational level, this is the one where we're totally not going to agree. I just think that if we can't have strict standards of what a man is and what a woman is, um, then things start to fall apart in a way I don't think we're really ready. We're, we're, we're ready to anticipate. Yeah, I don't, I don't mean we're, we can't. We're, we're not going to get not even, gonna close even close on that, close right? Close. And that, I, I know that. So. Yeah, I guess my, like, is, is that, I, I don't know the statistics on it, but I find it very yeah. hard to believe that. Rape is far more common in gender neutral bathrooms. No, I'm not saying it's common. I'm saying it. I'm saying so it happens. Why? It happens. So why is that like the place that we? Well, so like if, whether it be locker rooms for women only and not to allow men in them, I think that protecting the innocence of women is a moral good. Well, why is like? Because why um, are trans people are trans people more likely to be rapists in specifically well, in public bathrooms? Well, like, but why they're is that they're biologically the not the same thing. And that's not really my question. Like, they, no, I, I have no data to say if they're more likely or less likely. The question is if there's a chance, which we have plenty of evidence, like tons of stories, and whether or not it's 1%, 2%, I don't know, is do we have as a society, right, an obligation to create a boundary or a barrier to say that women, right, should be a type of class, if you will, which was the argument of the feminists, that should be protected from the exploitation of men, and I say yes. And that's that's the that's the fun that's one of the fundamental reasons that this anime is right. And this radical pro trans students, um, <sighs> points of view is something else, guys. Where she was using the word, um, the trans community that life depends on it. I know the therapist might tell them that. Um, I said this thing about um transgenderism of it. Chromosomes never lie.
it's never lies. Your bone density will never deceive you. <laughs> is it? That is, 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 it's how life is. You can never change it. Your chromosome, you can't change it. Your bone density, you can't change it. It's, it's how we, life is, guys. If you are to die today and bring out your, your body for autopsy, uh, your bones, they will be able to tell if you are a man or a woman. They won't tell, they won't check if you are, you are a cis man or you are a cis gender or you are a cis this or cis that. No, you're either a man or a woman. No matter how you see it as um, people transitioning and people changing their genders, a lot of them have regretted these actions. It's something we keep on seeing over and over again. Okay, let's use the moral standard right now. Okay, you tell me a man living a um a man's sport and going to the women's sport to go and compete it, he's definitely going to crush every single one, every woman right there. If not all, but it's going to come out in a very impressive number. You understand? It's going to come out in a very impressive number. And that itself is against the women themselves because their, their chromosomes are different, their bone density are different, their strengths are different. So a man coming there is like a cheat. It's like you taking a steroid on you. Then you go play sports. And every single one of them people there, right there, do not take any steroid. You'll be more efficient than every single one of them right there. It, that is how, how it is. So aside of um, this um, restroom aspect of it, I've seen, I've watched co corporate videos about um, someone who identifies as a woman, you understand, is dressed as a woman, but is a man, going to the female restroom, and the, the ladies right there, they were, they were literally scared. Because aside the dressing, they know this is a man in a woman restroom. Is it this thing about this, this narrative of trans, transgenders? People will use it to prey on little ones. There are also testimonies, there are also um, stories of young girls being raped in the restroom because a man who identifies as a woman entered there and raped them. So these are, these, are, these are true life story that is happening and it's not something we should, we should keep quiet about. Rape is a very traumatic experience, guys. Very traumatic experience. So if we keep our mouth short about this transgender as a whole, um, they are saying that life depends on it. If not, they are going to commit suicide and die. They should be accepted into the community. Accepting transgender into, into, the, into the world or accepting them as a being, as a something, will lead to a lot of havoc. This is how LGBTQ plus continuous numbers started from, guys. Now they accept the gay and the lesbian aspects. We are entering to yeah, we're in the trans aspect now. From trans, who knows what next? This is is escalating. It is getting more serious. And people are no longer thinking logically anymore. Women are people that should they should be looked after more. They are tender beings. This is this is very serious. This is a very serious topic, and I love how Charlie handled it very efficiently. I love how he answered it. He's not answering out from his own opinion, but out of the moral standard about the world we are living in right now. So he's giving the lady a clearer picture about how things works. So we have to be careful of what we accept and what we don't accept. Comment down below what to take about this video. Uh, I love the entire conversation. I love how Charlie answered her. I love how the lady was composed. She was not abusive or hostile. This was beautiful to watch. Comment down below. Tell us what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't know papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales all over.